Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk about gender issues in sports media today and how we can all make a positive influence on the future of female portrayal in the sporting world. Um, Shannon Easton uh, made history as the first female referee on August 9th, 2012 during a preseason game between the Green Bay Packers and San Diego Chargers. Um, this made a boom in the media. Uh, major media outlets emphasized the significance of this happening. As stated by Dunja Antovich, Easton made a motion that was more than just being a female in a man's world. She was a female taking part in a sport that occupies the center of male dominance in American society. Um, there was a lot of online discourse surrounding Easton during this time. Uh, her hiring was met with resistance, and when hearing that she would be officiating the game, bloggers and discussion boards were filled with vile responses. Uh, Jimmy Sanderson shares some of these responses in his article about sport culture and gender issues in the media regarding sport. Uh, here are some examples of some of those statements. Uh, one was, she is not wearing a lingerie referee outfit, WTF. Um, another, she, at least she's not in the broadcast booth where females make the games unwatchable. Uh, there was a third that said, there is no place for a woman in anything in the NFL. Until she can pad up and play the game, she has no business in an official in the sport. Um, these comments sexualize women, and they're also from a really biased point of view. First off, there's plenty of referees in the NFL that are older, um, uh, not as quick or nearly as strong as a lot of the NFL players. Um, you wouldn't expect to see one of the 65-year-old male referees telling the line against a 450-pound lineman. Um, so that comment about her not being fit to play the game doesn't make any sense. Also, uh, think about a man, uh, this is a wild example, was in the war, you know, lost an arm, wants to be a referee, there'd be a lot, there wouldn't be nearly as much hate against him, even though he has less of a chance of being successful in the NFL with just one arm, um, as compared to a woman who gets a lot of hate. Um, it just doesn't make sense. It clarifies that this is a gender issue that's popping up. Um, social media is really popular today, and it's not just going to disappear over time. If anything, social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook and so on are going to become ever-growing outlets for conversation and critique of happenings in the sporting world. Um, and when looking at Easton's situation alone, it's easy to make the statement that social media outlets are detriments to the sporting world's atmosphere and the animosity it creates. But it is a fact that social media use specifically for sporting conversations is at an all-time high and it's ever-growing. So with that being said, it's not reasonable to suggest ending its usage. Um, instead, we as a society must come together and find a way to promote healthy conversations and advertising of female sports characters in the media. But how do we do this? That's the big question. Um, it can be answered in three words. Change our mindsets. Change our mindset. Let's look at these three words individually, and we can really grasp the importance of this phrase. First is change. Uh, the dictionary definition for change is to make or become different. In the case of female athlete portrayal in the media, the word change is referring to how media outlets are used. Media outlets are already heavily regulated, and it seems over the top to suggest that there should be laws on what can and cannot be said on media outlets, but there needs to be a stronger regulation of the critiques on female athletics. Uh, most of the media did a great job at congratulating Easton on her accolades as the first NFL referee, but these athlete outlets did very little to discourage negativity and rude responses from its audience. Um, in my own personal opinion, there should be rules about what comments can and cannot be made on these public platforms, but my opinion means very little to those who disagree with it. Um, so this kind of calls for a dissection of the second word of the saying, change our mindset, our. Uh, there's several definitions for the word our, but in this scenario, the definition that's going to be used is the definition that states referring to all people or people in general. The word our in this phrase is a call to action. It doesn't refer to just a handful of people. It doesn't just refer to the people in support of gender equality. Our refers to literally every human being on earth. We need to come together as a whole in society and recognize the seriousness of gender defamation in the sporting world, especially in the media. Because there's little to no chance of sports media ever becoming regulated, we have to regulate it ourselves. I'm not suggesting that we argue with every negative commenter on the internet, but we do need those who recognize the seriousness of gender inequality and sexualizing in sports media to voice their opinions. This could be as simple as flagging a post that adds negativity to news that is glorifying female athletes. 
This includes reaching out to journalists, newspapers, on Twitter, and so on, and express our feelings about gender discrimination in sport. We need to bring this issue to attention instead of letting negativity flood message boards and letting that become our attention. Finally, the word mindset. We need to change the mindset of society. In his article, Sports and Male Domination, Michael Messner breaks down the history of the rise of female participation in sport in America, starting with the passage of Title IX in 1972. It's clear that our society has always held a mindset that sport is a male-driven domain, and it is only recently that we have added in the idea and girls can play sports too, but not as well as men. It has been proven that females get all the same benefits from competing in competitive sports as men do, but it's still frowned upon by many for a woman to steal the spotlight from men, or in Easton's case, just take part in the game itself. Um, the media now often portrays female sports figures in a sexual context in order to gain attention, viewers, consumers, etc., instead of focusing on the dominance and talents of some of these sports figures. Instead of celebrating their athletic feats, women are usually brushed to the side because they, quote, aren't as strong or as fast or as athletic as their male counterparts, end quote. Um, we need to shift this mindset of there are sports, which men participate in, and there are many women's sports, uh, to instead a mindset of there are sports, which both men and women can play. And we can do this by being active in the media, by calling everyone to action, by bringing it to attention, by presenting these facts to more than just individuals studying about their issues in class. Um, and instead of just talking about these issues in gender relation atmospheres and presenting them and posting them to message boards, news articles, and social media outlets to alert society of what's going on. For most uh, sexualizing posts about a female athlete is a norm, we tend to just turn the page. But by publicizing the seriousness of this gender inequality situation on a sports media platform, we can begin to make a change by first educating society on the issue at hand. Shannon Easton's refereeing an NFL game made a resounding boom in the media, while some praised her success in the milestone that happened in marked for the sports world, and others criticized the situation and offered defamation towards her and the NFL's actions. Easton helped the sporting world by taking a big step towards gender equality by becoming the first to enter what many call a man's world. It is our duty to support her and women everywhere by stepping up and highlighting the importance of female participation in sport. When it's all said and done, we need to change. We need to come together. We need to find a new mindset. For this to happen, we need to change our mindsets by being active in the media, bringing attention to issues at hand, and standing up against negative and sexualizing posts towards female athletes. Thank you, and change your mindset.